Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is The Edited Mom and today I'm here with my quick, easy makeup routines. I'm gonna be showing you my routine when I have like five minutes to hurry up and get out the door and also like my everyday, more 20 minutes-ish routine that I do. So if you'd like to learn all about my quick and easy makeup routine and how to create your own, just keep on watching. So when I'm doing a really quick five minute and then out the door routine, I try to pick three or four areas of concern and address those. For me, I have dehydrated, normal but dehydrated skin, so I always love to address my complexion. I can't leave the house without doing something to my brows, so that's second. And then third, some days I have lots of redness around my nose or in my forehead or I have hereditary darkness around my eyes. That's one concern for me and then I'll throw on a blush if I have time <laughs> just to like brighten up my face and make me look a little bit alive. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do today um, just for my quick routine. What I have been loving so much is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This stuff is like, is it a foundation? Is it a highlight? Is it a primer? I don't know, but it's gorgeous. So I like to mix the shades four and five because I'm kind of in between my winter and my spring shades right now. And I take both of those in my hands, mix them up, and just with my fingers all over the face. I just take those all over. And it kind of, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of coverage, but there's a little something there, and it's super dewy, super glowy, which is what I absolutely love. And then, the next thing I do is my brows, because I can't, I wasn't blessed with beautiful brows. My little sister has the most perfect, perfect brows, and I'm so jealous. I don't, I don't have all that. So I like to do my brows. What I've been loving for my brows is the... Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. Um, another good one that I like is the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. So that's that. Do the, the beauty guru thing. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury. So I take one of those. Um, what is, Glossier also has the Boy Brow. And Benefit has the Gimme Brow. Those are both good too, but Honestly, my favorite is the Charlotte Tilbury, just because the wand is so tiny. It's just, it's super easy to use, so I'm going to do that now. I just brush through my hairs, and this is the only thing I'm going to do to my brows, so I run it through. And I'm kind of really a fan of the more editorial or fluffy brows. So I don't mind if they're not perfect. I, I don't do perfect brows. I just want some more definition and body and my brows aren't naturally really even so I just correct that with this product. And then I'll even dip a little bit back into it. And with just the tip, I um, kind of create shape where I need it. So I'll take it around my arch, the top of my arch, and if I need more body around that area, I'll just create that with the very tip of the brush. And I also, this brow is much fuller and everybody has a favorite brow. This one's not, and she is, she's got it going on, but this, this one needs a little help. So I take that at the front and I just brush it up. Brush, brush, brush it up. So the next thing that I do is I check to see if I have any redness on my face. 
Um, usually, like I said before, I have redness typically around my nose, the center of my forehead, sometimes on my chin, my T-zone really. Um, today I'm actually looking pretty good, but for the sake of video, I will throw some on. My favorite right now is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. Um, I'm in the shade Ginger. Most days I will just use my finger. For my five minute routine, I use one brush really. But um, today, I'm because my nails are long and pretty today, I'm gonna take this brush. This is from Real Techniques. It's the Deluxe Crease Brush. I'm just gonna take a little teeny bit of this, not too much step off the excess and I go around my nose and cover up any redness tap it in to make it look more natural and blend it in wow that has this mirror been in y'all's way the whole time <laughs> I'm sorry but yeah I go around my nose and I get a bit of redness on the very tip of my nose as well so I go over that and then I will take a tiddly bit more and go just in the center of my forehead. I get lots of redness there. And whatever excess is on the brush on my chin. And then I get a larger dollop than before and I just address my eyes. So. Go under each little bit of my eyes. And I also have darkness in the corners occasionally. So I'll take it there. And with my fingers. Now if I honestly truly only have five minutes, I won't set this. It doesn't really need to be set, but I hate creasing and my eyes typically crease so if I don't have the time I won't set it and I'll just throughout the day take my same ring fingers and just pat it through but if I do have a time the time I will take a powder and today I'm using this hourglass palette which is my favorite thing in the whole world but it was limited edition so I'm sorry in advance I'll take a small brush and with this lightest shade I'll just sweep under my eyes really quickly haphazardly and I'll also swipe over any of the places where I put concealer and that I only do it in the places where I put concealer because I don't like my face to be powdery I love the dewy glowy moist moist look <laughs> so I don't I don't do it a lot of powder and this powder is really pretty and really glowy so it doesn't really look like powder on the skin so i will do that so we've done complexion brows a little concealer and i always even if i'm not wearing mascara i always curl my lashes and it takes me 10 seconds to do that so i will curl my lashes just so i look more awake and then I take the same brush that I when I'm doing my quick routine I use one brush for everything so I'll take this one brush the same brush from before and I'll go into either the bronzer or these blush colors um, let's do it's spring let's do a little blush so I just take this this blush I'm just mixing between these two tap off and just to give my skin some life, some vivaciousness, some that, I'll just sweep this onto the cheeks. Just so I don't make an unpretty look. I don't. All right, not bad. But then I end off with, I have to put something on my lips, whether it's chapstick or not chapstick with the brand, whether it's lip balm or gloss I have to put something on my lips so it's usually out, as I'm out the door I'll keep whatever gloss or balm in my bag and as I'm out the door in the car that's when I put on my balm 
Today I'm using the Fenty Beauty, Fenty Glow, the, like the original Fenty Beauty gorgeousness. Put that on. And it's just such a natural pretty color. It's a universal color. It makes your lips so hydrated. I love it. So that's my quick five minute out the door. I hit snooze 17 times. <laughs> I don't have time to make a blood. So when I'm not talking through it, that whole routine takes me, like I said, five minutes. It's just quick. I use most of my hands. I only use one brush for everything. It's super quick and easy and right out the door. Okay, now I'm gonna be walking you through my everyday routine. This is when I'm on my game, when I've woken up on time, done my workout, didn't take too long in the shower, and I actually have time before my daughter wakes up. And so when I have time, and when I haven't procrastinated, or been on IG too long, or whatever, um, I like to do this full routine, and this only takes me about 20 minutes. Unless I have extra time, then I, I could take 30. But it's, it's usually 20. So, um, like I said, I have normal but dehydrated skin, so I'm all about the glow. I'm all about doing this all over my face. So the very first thing I like to do is take, and I don't like, um, I don't like full coverage. I did, when I was younger, I was all about some full coverage. And don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm 27. So I'm, I'm still pretty young. But I, I have found after motherhood, <laughs> I, I really like a light light maybe medium coverage but I, I really like a light coverage foundation um and when I don't have like I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my foundations so what I do is I take all the full coverage foundations that I used to love and I dilute them down with moisturizer or some kind of glowy product so on most days I say all that to say on most days I will take um something glowy like my MAC strobe cream or my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. This video is not sponsored by Charlotte Tilbury. I wish. I just got a lot of Charlotte Tilbury for Christmas, so I like to use it all. So I take one of these products, I, or both, if I'm feeling frisky, I'll take about a big dollop of that with a little pump pump maybe a little pump of my foundation um when i'm pale it's the nars sure glow and stromboli i'll take a little bit of that i'm just gonna add some stroke cream just because i'm feeling frisky today so i'm gonna take a little bit of that i mix those up into a concoction and i love working with my hands so i know what some people don't. I When I feel like getting off my butt to go get my beauty blender damp, I will do that. But today is not one of those days. So I'll take all that all over my face, rub it around just like a moisturizer. And this way it's faster anyway. Alright. So then I go in with a foundation. I'm lying. So then I go in with my concealer. The concealer I'm using is the Too Faced Born This Way. I do like just, a, this is so full coverage, so I'll do just a dot of this mixed with the Maybelline Age Rewind. But if I'm trying to be fast, I will just use the Age Rewind, but it has like virtually no coverage. So I will do a dot. Just do a dot of your favorite concealer. Under the eyes. And... I do a bit on the chin, like I said, I get redness on my chin. Um, in between the brows, because I get redness there. Do a dot dot around the nose, redness. And then I will go over my lids when I have the time to do shadow, which is today. So I'll do that, and then I'll go in with the Maybelline Age Rewind. 
which is gorgeous. Love this. So I'll take this and just go. I put that closer to the inner corner of my eye because it's really brightening. So I'll do that. And if my brushes are dirty, I will use my fingers. But today, I get to actually use a brush. So I will take that around my nose. On the tip of my nose, like I said, redness. On my chin where there's redness. Middle of the forehead. And then I'll pat those all out with my finger just to use the warmth of my finger to really make sure it's like melted into the skin and gorgeous. And then I'll go the top of the eyes. And then finally I'll get to under my eyes. And when I'm putting concealer on, I only put it on the areas where there are darkness, and then I blend out. I don't put it all over. At least, this is just my preference. I just like to put it on the darkness and then blend it out. Especially with that Too Faced concealer, like, I'm telling you, the smallest amount is what you need. Because it blends out so much that you only need a teeny, tiny bit. So I blend that out. All right, now as soon as I do that, I will go over the edges of my finger just again to use the warmth of my finger to make sure it's completely melted into the skin and blend it in so you can't see any lines of demarcation. And then I will take my one brush that I use for everything and like I, when I'm doing my quick routines, this is the palette I use because it has everything I need in there. So I'll just take this um, lighter color again and just set all over the face where I put that concealer. Tap off excess. That under my eyes. And we all do that super cute concealer face. So under my eyes and then when I have more coverage I use the both of these co both of these colors especially because I'm pale now but I use both of those colors and I'll just sweep all over my face where I put concealer and then don't forget your lids as well if you don't want your eyeshadow, if you're putting that on, you don't want that to be patchy, so just go over your lids as well. And it's all done and powdered. And then the very next thing I do is brows. I always do my brows next. I'm lying. I don't always do my brows next. Sometimes I do the whole complexion and then my brows, but typically it's brows. Um... And then again, I'll go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows, which is my favorite right now. So I'll just comb through my brows with that very quickly. Because if I, if I have extra time, I will go in with a brush just for all of the definition. So I will just quickly brush, brush, brush through. And I am all about full fluffy brows. So I'm not too precise with this. I love, love the editorial like standing up brows where you see all of the hairs. But the way my brows are set up, I got too many of those for that to work. So I just brush them. And when I'm satisfied, I will 
go in with a pencil. And my favorite is the old classic. I mean, NYX has a dupe. And it's not as good. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Oh my gosh, the best brow was ever. All right, so I take the spoolie and just brush through to make sure that um, Charlotte Tilbury product is evenly distributed. And then with the pencil, I'm only going in any sparse areas. So, not much. My brows are pretty full on. So I just go in and just light upward strokes. I'm just filling in. And I'm also, this brow is sh struggling in the front. So I create a few hairs where she has none. Gently do the arch. Create a tail because I do not have one naturally. And go over the top arch. Alright, that's that's her done and sorted. Brush through. The Charlotte Tilbury um that legendary brows also has pretty good hold. It's not my it's not like the best hold ever. But it has pretty good hold too, so that's another reason I like it. And then this brow, she needs a lot less work, so honestly I'm not doing much here. I'm creating a tail because I do not have one. And an arch. And she is perfectly fine in the front, so I don't really need to do anything, but I'm going to just, because I'm extra, Alright, a little more over here. Honestly, truly, half of the time that I spend doing my makeup is just on my eyebrows. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's a bad habit, but I, I obsess over my, I love eyebrows. I love a good full brow, and I can spend all day on my brows, but I won't today, so. So after the brows are done, they are perfect. Not really, they're not, but they're good enough for my quick routine. The very next, next thing I do is my complexion. Uh, whether I decide to do bronze or not that day, I will again take that same brush that I use for absolutely everything. I don't know if I told you guys the name of it already. It's the Sonia Kashuk um, Tapered Finishing Brush. I take this brush and I will go into that same hourglass palette which is the ambient lighting edit unlocked I don't know if I ever said that but that's what this is it was limited edition I'm sad but it's gorgeous and I'm sorry um, but any palette you have I just go into my bronzer tap off any excess and I will do the bronzing thing <laughs> Twenty minutes later. So after my bronzer, I like to go in with that same palette that I've been using for everything else. And I'll take these two blushes again. Tap off the excess and just blush up my face. Alright. And then for my eyes, I have been loving just a one and done type of thing I'll usually take a pot of something lately I've been loving the hourglass shatter light in the color reflect take that and just all over my lid with my finger again this is an easy routine so I don't do when I'm trying to do quick and easy or just for my everyday I just take my finger and take that all over and that is just a pretty, pretty reflective color. And it'll give me like a glossy lid look, which is what I love. Um, so the next thing I do is, again, I curl my lashes, which takes me 10 seconds. And I always curl my lashes because mine aren't super curled. And they also lose their shape with mascara if I don't curl them. 
and then I will throw on some mascara really quickly. I am currently loving the Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> Legendary Lashes Volume 2. Throw that on really quickly. Okay, that's mascara done and sorted. And then the very last thing I address is my lips. I, again, I love a good lip balm, a good lip gloss. My favorites are the Fenty that I showed you earlier, but also the Clarins um, Instant Light Comfort Oil. I love these. I have them in like every shade, but I'll just take a bit of that. And I love these because they'll leave a pretty stain after I apply them and when the gloss starts to fade off. But I don't have to keep touching it up throughout the day. That's the thing I love about like a nice glossy juicy lip is you, typically with those formulas you don't have to top them up throughout the day and I honestly <laughs> I'm running around with a toddler I don't have time to be touching my, my lips every few minutes so that's it for my full face so that's it that's everything that's how I do my quick five minute routine and also my everyday more like 20 minute routine so like I said, for the quick five minute routine, just figure out which three to four areas of your face you'd like to address and focus on those. That way it's super quick and easy. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. It means the world to me to have you watch my videos. And if you would like more videos all about organizing and mommying and occasional beauty and fashion videos, please click down below to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.